Hi, my name is Chris Zimmerer and in this talk I will present our case study on the rapid development of natural and synergistic multimodal interfaces for XR use cases. First, let me give you an example of how such multimodal interfaces look like in the context of a virtual and mixed reality application, or XR for short. Erstelle eine Pyramide. Mache das Objekt riesig. Färbe es rot. Zerstöre die Falle. Gehe in Ordnung. Zerstöre die Falle. In theory, these interfaces offer high expressive power and are deemed highly suitable for XR applications. However, the currently prevailing interfaces are unimodal as illustrated in this example. They can be developed relatively quickly, even by non-experts, since software platforms like Unity or Unreal provide plugins with ready-to-use interaction techniques such as menus and 3D point and click. A comparable tool support for multimodal solutions is yet missing. Their development is very costly and requires expert knowledge. Consequently, there is very little user-centered research with functional multimodal interfaces, only few practical design guidelines and virtually no such interfaces in use today, despite their potential benefits. Here, better tool support is key to making multimodal interfaces accessible to a wider group of researchers and designers. In this case study, we report on the toolchain we develop and use to create multimodal speech and gesture interfaces for XR applications. We also analyze our toolchain in terms of its suitability for rapid development based on years of application in research and academic education. At the center of our toolchain is our fusion method, the concurrent augmented transition network. This fusion method is, on the one side, able to analyze input from multiple concurrent modalities and derive a joint meaning. On the other side, it provides an integration concept to communicate with XR applications. It can identify the virtual object a user is referring to and change its properties to specified values, like the object's position to a target location. In order to define interfaces, our fusion method implements a declarative approach. Interface developers can simply define multimodal commands as transition networks using a dedicated description language. In contrast to machine learning based approaches, it does not require any training data or time costly optimization of learning parameters. Designed interfaces can also be graphically visualized for debugging purposes. The analysis of our toolchain is based on three use cases. The development of demo applications, the development of functional interfaces for user-centered research, and its application in academic education. Over the years we developed several demo applications. These helped us to continuously develop our toolchain in terms of supported features, performance and usability. The following video shows excerpts from some of them. Create a planet. Paint it red. Rotate it around that sun. You travel here. You attack the archer. What is this? These are threshing clawers. They would always appear in packs of at least 20 robots. We also implemented functional multimodal interface prototypes for our user-centered research. For example, we compared a multimodal speech and gesture interface with a state-of-the-art unimodal menu-based interface regarding their impact on the user's creative performance in the VR design application. These comparisons show that the interfaces we created with our toolchain were either on par or even outperformed their respective unimodal comparison partners. Finally, we use our toolchain in academic education. In the following, you will see a clip showcasing short excerpts from a few of the applications students were able to build with our toolchain. 
Create a tomato there and make it bigger. Move the big tomato there. Select this planet. Make it this big. Texture that cube with stars. Select that firewood. Move it there. Create a campfire. These applications were programmed as part of the mandatory master course Multimodal Interfaces in the Human-Computer Interaction program at the University of Würzburg here in Germany. In the scope of this course, students with vastly different backgrounds ranging from psychology over media communication to computer science use our toolchain to implement simple VR applications with multimodal speech and gesture interfaces. Based on these three use cases, we analyzed our toolchain in terms of its suitability for rapid interface prototyping, especially in terms of developer usability and development time. In addition, we identify remaining challenges that need to be addressed. Our declarative approach was well received by developers. The description language is suitable to design multimodal interfaces for XR and the graph visualization helped developers to debug their interfaces. We estimate that non-experts can implement multimodal speech and gesture interfaces for VR in about 45 hours when using our toolchain for the first time, which is consistent with iterative interface design processes. Therefore, we conclude that our toolchain is suitable for rapid prototyping. But of course, there are still challenges to tackle. The integration concept for applications was perceived as rather complex. A possible simplification would be to directly integrate the fusion method as a plugin in a concrete XR platform like Unity. Another promising extension for our description language is a graphical editor that allows developers to create interfaces by simply dragging and dropping predefined interaction blocks. So, as a takeaway, our experiences in developing and applying our toolchain show that good tool support is key to making the development of multimodal interfaces more accessible. Enabling a wider group of researchers and designers to rapidly develop multimodal interfaces will hopefully support the creation of even better interfaces for XR in the future. Thank you for your attention and have a good day.